mean, I mean it so well. Hey, let's do here. Yeah, let's do that. How about that? Boy, I ain't got a Sunday off, too. I, I want to take you back, and I'm telling you, this, this is the definition of winging. It just is. But Peter didn't know what he was doing when he walked on the water either. There wasn't a guidebook for walking on the water. There wasn't. I remember the morning I got saved. I remember that. And somebody looked at me because I, I couldn't quit crying. <coughs> They asked me, because one of my cousins asked me, is something wrong? And I said, we're going to eat. All I, all I do is say, nothing's wrong, something's right. A little seven-year-old me just pointed out my heart and said, I just, I just feel so good. Amen. I, I want to get you some things before we sing. Came in the office this morning. I got in the office at 9.20. Came in, got all the lights turned on, sat down. The Thatchers got here at 9.32. Yeah. You know you got you some born again when you show up Sunday school at 9.32. <laughs> and it um, wasn't long. Thatcher came in the office. And he said, we need to pray for Emma. I'm going somewhere. He said, we need to pray for Emma. Emma's in the hospital. Emma's not doing good. Did you know that? I said, yeah. I said, I know she's still in the hospital. I said, yeah, I knew, I knew she's not doing good. And I said, I've been praying for her. We're in Sunday school. Rob's teaching up a storm like he usually does. I look out and I see Emma's siblings. That's weird. What are they doing here? Emma's in the hospital. Ah, Chris and Hillary probably brought kids. And I come to church. <coughs> Emma's sitting there. Get on board with that. Yeah. Amen. I hugged Amber and I told her, I said, God's done a real good job for you, man. Yeah. Real good job for you, man. Amen. You look, just today, God's answered prayers for us. Yeah. <laughs> and not just in things and aspects and watching over people in hospitals and car wrecks and all that stuff, but they spoke just more came here for help. Yeah. You forgive me. I, I couldn't be any prouder of Avery Golden if I came up and got her some help. And Kate come to the altar. Second person down here today. And I swear that's how it ought to be done. Once you get your help, you ought to want somebody else to get help. There's one part of this song, and I think y'all ought to worship through it all. This is where I'm getting it. I'm here. Hey, one part of this song, everybody in this church knows that's when everybody raises their hand. If you don't know the whole rest of the song, but I know when he lifted me. Right. And boy, it's about like God spoke in prayer request time in the Baptist church. Everybody just knows. Can I give you this today? Did you hear? And God's helped you today. You ought to own that. Anybody hear me? Is that right? right, right. You hear today you got saved. Y'all own that. Yes, yeah, just let God love them. Let that love of God settle in. Yeah. You hear today God's answered prayers for you. You ought to let that settle in. Because the facts are, everybody in this room is a miracle and a product of prayer. Yeah. It's just whether or not we own it. Only here. God bless you. Hey, let me mind. Let's stand one more time. We're about done today. Amen. If you need some help, God's helping folks left and right. Only here. Go ahead.
sometimes the old time way of doing things. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you do have old hands, you do off, hold your hand up, all that. I appreciate that. Help folks be honest. And there's sometimes some folks want to meet with you after church, and we'll talk about things. Salvation can happen after church just as good as it can in church. Is that right? Uh -huh. But they sometimes, I, I appreciate the old way where folks just move. Yeah, right. I appreciate that. Amen. Wasn't no begging, wasn't no pulling. <clears throat> Cursed me against Jesus. Yeah. So he just got up and moved. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't get satisfied the first time. Sometimes yeah. it takes a couple of times. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm going to help you right here. How, how, how many of y'all got saved? Did not. How many of y'all did not get saved the very first time you went to the altar? Anybody? Yeah. All right, look at that. Look at that. You ain't alone. Everybody's fine here. With that being said, and I, I have told him this, and I'm making a liar. Everybody here's for you. Yeah, man. You get a broken heart, everybody's fine. You nervous? I'm nervous for you because you made me nervous. Curse. <laughs> Years have gone. 
I've learned he'll fix how I talk. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There'll be something about the curse, and here's the truth. I, I don't believe so much in lightning bolts. As far as lightning bolt religion, the way he got saved, next week he'll come in suit and tie. <coughs> I believe sanctification is a work until you get to heaven. Little bit by little, the more you let Jesus get bigger in you, the more you'll have to change. And the only advice I can give, when there's conviction, God's saying don't do it, then boy, that's salvation saying, hey, don't do it. Salvation saying, do do it, do it. Amen. Amen. There's critics out there, when Saul got saved, there was critics that said, there's no way he got it. You don't know him like I do. And you want to know what God told Saul? Just live it, and I'll prove it. I'm thankful I don't have to prove a thing. I'm thankful if I live for him, he'll do the proof. He'll do the proof. Amen. Oh, Kirsch, I'm proud of you. Love you to death. Amen. Anybody got anything today? Say amen, Nancy. Amen. We're as fine as fine can be.
did something for you, you'd like to share. Been a rich place to be, you know. Yeah. Sure has. Sure, sure has. Yeah. Tommy hit the nail on the head. Tommy got cursed for some help. I don't even know curse. He realized it or not. Perfect love cast out all fear. Yeah. I can remember my brother going off to the Air Force, and me and my brother had an argument the day before he left. And uh, quickly that got paid back because when he graduated from the Air Force, <laughs> he graduated in San Antonio, Texas. It's about 110 degrees, and I was just beginning to embrace my chubby self. And I was in a Hawaiian button-up and tan shorts. Looked like the small version of Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> I, I went down there and sweated for hours, so I figured we pretty well even we was. Say all that, say this. I, if salvation can take care of you, you're hell. There's no fear your salvation can't take care of. Right. 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 Everybody happy? Amen. Amen. God bless you. That's come on, Bub. God bless you. Cody, come on. Come on. We'll get ready to take up our morning offering. I appreciate what Jesus has done in the house today, don't you? I appreciate it so, so much. We've got good news to share. I thought we did. Yeah. Yeah. Curse got hit from hell today. Yeah. Curse has got good news to share. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, Curse, I'll tell you the same thing I told Patton. Uh, Y'all forgive me for this. I, I've been questioned about this, not by folks that go here, uh, but we got YouTube, so I get phone calls. Um, a lot of them's good. 99.9% of them's good. Other folks just need to mind their own business. <laughs> Well, Chase, they're going to watch that. I've already told them. Uh, well, Chase, they got saved. So what you ought to do, you ought to just welcome them into the church. If they're teenagers and their families don't come here, they need to talk to their families. Because the facts are, whether it's Kirsch or whether it's Patton, they've got the, you've got the best news in the world to share, Kirsch. You just do. Salvation's the best thing you can get. Somebody help. That's right. Amen. And even if folks around you don't understand that, if they're interested in you being the best you, they'll love it for you. Yeah, yeah. They'll love it for you. Um, and facts are, you talk to your family, if here's a place you, you want to look at his home, because, and, and I know we're taking a minute, um, but the truth is, if you take awesome life steps without your family, that can almost look like you ain't interested in your family coming. But man, life, I don't know about you, but I'm glad... Thatcher went and got Reba. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm glad the flesh air boys went and got Ben. Ben went and got his family. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Help me, Dustin. Who's missing from your heart? That's right. Yeah. I wish I could clap my camera. I would. <laughs> I care more about my hands than he does. Amen. Looking forward to taking up all for Dave. You've got to give, give. If you don't, that's fine. I'm glad you're here today. Go ahead and pray on golf if you would. Oh, my God. Yeah. What a day to be in the house. Yeah. I'm so thankful for the spirit. He blessed us with today. God, I'm thankful for being saved. And I'm thankful for what that means to me. God, I'm thankful one day my boys will get to know what that is too. Tell them. Yeah. Father, we just pray for this offering, Lord. Lord, I pray that they understand that this isn't just money that goes into a pocket. That's right. God, that this is money that goes to build your kingdom. That's right. God, this is money that goes to help those in the Lord and to help spread the gospel. Father, we just thank you so much again. We just pray for the Jesus bless the Lord that can give and those that can. Lord, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Go get it.
don't know if we need that much singing to quit reading the book of Psalms. <laughs> well, you need a little bit of preaching today, that's right. Amen. I'm glad there's sometimes Jesus, you know, preachers, teachers, we do our best to study, and we hand God our notes, and there's sometimes He takes your service plan, He takes all your organization, and He washes up with all and He throws it away. And I appreciate all that. I believe in the church, God ought to just be able to do what He wants to do. Been good to be here today. God bless you so much. Amen. Let's stand our feet if you would. Thank you for giving. We've got we've got bought out. We've got the uh, spring forward crowd here today. God help them. I, I pray they wake up. Time to go to work in the <laughs> Amen. We've got a lot of folks. We got some to say. Pray for Jackson Bessler. Pray for him. It's needful. It's necessary. There's there's a lot of questions there. Um, please be much in prayer for him. Wayla and Jessica, uh, pray much for Miss Rhonda. We're, we're missing some folks on vacay. Uh, pray for them. I'm looking forward to Thursday night. I'm looking real forward to it. Uh, boy, if you if you want to hear some preaching, go to last Thursday. Listen to the singing. Listen to the open up. Listen to the preaching, and then by all means, shut it down. Boy, after that, it just it is. Preaching time to help us. God used it in a special way last Thursday. Chase, I've been thinking about coming on Thursday. Y'all quit thinking about it. Just do it. If you enjoy Jesus and you enjoy what you get in the heart, read this off. Do it. Well, Chase, I wish that I could come to church more often. I, I, I wish there was more opportunity. There it is. There it is. Well, Chase, I could just listen to that choir and sing all the time. Put it into YouTube. You can. Well, we're glad you're here today. Y'all hang, hang around today. Uh, youth, y'all too. Your day, stewardship Sunday, youth teams uh, ready for you. Amen. We'll have, uh, we're looking forward to, to Thursday night, 6 30. Uh, looking much forward to it. Amen. Easter Sunday is on the way. Last Sunday of the month will be Easter. Uh, so please be looking forward to it. Ain't that crazy? We're already at Easter. Yes, ma'am. Do it. If you are new to the harbor or you've slept since then, we do ask everybody to bring two dozen filled eggs for our Easter egg hunt for our elementary kids. We hide them during Sunday school Easter morning, so please make sure we do that prior to then. Two dozen filled eggs, no nuts, please. Yeah, that teenage class does an awesome job hiding those eggs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of them have been for a couple of years ago. Chase Fletcher is all up and over. He sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, ladies Club here tomorrow, 6 30. So if you're a lady and you'd like to be in the club, come on in and as soon as you get here, you'll be in the ladies club. That's right. 6 30 here at the church. Chase, I still need two or three others that I see here today and have a crowd of four right there for the uh, directory. Absolutely. If you're part of the harbor, or would like to be, and I'll, I'll throw my little spin in on that one, we have a one-call system here at the church. If you'd like regular devotionals, if you'd like in on a prayer chain, things of that nature, holler at me. Um, and by all means, fill out the church directory. We, 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 we know it's in a good way. We want all your info. That's right. Uh, anything else? Absolutely, Easter Sunday. <laughs> Have your family pictures taken. Come all pretty up, ready up. Pretty much for preacher Josh next Sunday. He's an advocate, right? He's. Uh, they've asked him to preach part number four, ten or fifteen. <laughs> the message he started over there. So be much of prayer for them. Him. Anything else? If, if not, again, you can all hang around. Church.